Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am here in the dressing room getting ready for work. It is my second to last night at Michael's. I am in the process of putting my makeup on, so I might look a little, look a little odd, but um, yep, so it's my second to last night here. It is Friday night and I am actually gonna be doing a full feature show at midnight and then I'll be doing another one at midnight tomorrow kind of like going out with a bang before I move on. But yep, so I got two more nights here at Michael's in Louisiana. And then on Sunday, I drive over to Victoria, Texas to begin my Maximus tour. You know what, actually in the last portion of this vlog, I don't even think I said that I was going to be staying for a little while. So I've been here for, I think it's been like three weeks after Tripper Olympics now. So um, I decided to stick around. It didn't really make sense for me to go all the way back home, considering I drove down here. And um, especially with FDNC being canceled, there wasn't really much reason for me to go back north. So I just decided to stay down here until my Maximus tour, which was at the end of the month. Um, so I've been here for about a month altogether. Came in like late, August and now we're approaching like the third week in September so like yeah about a month I didn't get my Red Bull today I kind of want my Red Bull fuck it I'm gonna go to the bar I'll be right back I got it There we go. <laughs> it's like such a force of habit. I've been getting a Red Bull basically every day that I come in, which I used to drink Red Bulls all the time before work. And I've been afraid to ever since. Um... <sighs> so a family member of mine, she apparently had like a heart attack around the time that she was also working night shifts and drinking a shit ton of Red Bull. And ever since she told me that, I've been afraid to drink Red Bull, but like, I don't think that one can a day here and there is really gonna be that bad, right? I don't know. I feel like she was drinking a, way more than that when that happened. But, um, um, got those nice tweezers from the dollar store that don't fucking work if you wanna actually use them to, you know, tweeze. <laughs> They work great for putting on eyelashes, though. All right. So I guess this is like the finished look that we're going for today. So it is. Um, it's about eight o'clock. It's about eight o'clock. So I'm going to put my outfit on for the floor. Um, I'm still gonna be doing house sets tonight. So I'm gonna be doing some house sets. I'm gonna go talk to some people, check in with the house mom and the DJ and everything. And yeah, as the time gets closer and closer for my show, I'm gonna start like laying everything out so I can kind of like plan everything. All right, guys, I'm in the process of getting stuff ready. Really fucking nervous, honestly. Like, we'll see how this goes. This is my first time doing this show. Okay, so I'm putting the paints together. I got some hot water and we got the little, I got these little tiny ones from the dollar store. Um, hopefully, oh shit, hopefully it works. Just a little bit of the paint and I try to keep it pretty diluted so it's not hopefully not too difficult to get off
There we go. Now I can actually have everything in the black. doing this show we'll see how it goes hopefully it's not a hot mess <laughs> I think someone should be getting it on film all right see you guys later just got off of stage um, there's my my outfit and some very wet ones um, I think it went pretty well for the most part a couple hiccups here and there um, that was my first time trying to do a paint show it wasn't bad it came off pretty easily so I don't think we have any issues with that but I will say that like some of the stuff that I usually do on the tarp I wasn't able to do with the paints <laughs> I'm used to soapy water which is a lot more slippery so I can slide around and kind of like do spinny tricks and you know, it's just, it's a little bit different. Um, so different texture. Um, overall it wasn't too bad though. My hair is mostly blow dried. So I have somebody who wants to go for a VIP. So yeah, all right. Uh, we'll check in with you guys later. Alright guys, so it is the end of the night. I am back in my normal people clothes. I'm gonna go uh, tip some people out and drive back to the house and I will check in with you guys in a little bit. So tomorrow we are doing the Link from the Legend of Zelda show. Um, so that one... I've done before, but it'll be my first time doing it as like a full length feature show because so far I've only used it in competition. I used it at Gracie's pageant about a month ago and then I used it at Stripper Olympics and those are only like four and five minute long shows, not like an entire like 12 plus minute uh, feature show. But um, 
I think it still should be decent because like I have like a solid idea of what I'm gonna do. It's a little bit more organized in my mind. So it should be good. All right, I just made it to the club. As you can see, I'm wearing my my link dress. I'm be gonna be wearing the more fancy one later. But um, stopped over at CVS, got some snacks and a Red Bull. This is a larger can than what the club sells, so need all the energy tonight. <sighs> oh. Makeup time! Ugh. Probably just like natural glam again. Um, let's see, we got <laughs> one more. My last eyelash. I like to cut them in half and then like use them as um, accent lashes. I kind of, it kind of like creates that cat eye effect. Guys, I just realized that I forgot something at the house. Fuck. <laughs> oh my god, my veil fans. My veil fans are inside the fucking closet. Back at the house. I could go without them. Or I could drive back. If I were to drive back, it'd probably just take like... Like 20 minutes. I literally just have to run in. You know, I'm gonna do my makeup real quick and then we'll worry about this in a second. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Well, this just fucking happened. Love that for me. Anyway. <laughs> And that was my second favorite shade. I've dropped this multiple times now. Boo. <sighs> you know what? Guys, I'm gonna stick my lashes on. I'm gonna just like, wrap up my makeup real quick, stick my lashes on, and then I'm gonna like race back over to the house to get my veil fans. Okay, I think it's dry enough. I just need it to be dry enough that they don't fall off. Okay. Got him. <sighs> We're good. Time to go back. <sighs> Anyway, driving back to the club. I'll be there in like 10 minutes. So yeah, we're good. I got the veil fan, so crisis averted. My makeup is almost done. I just need to put some mascara on and kind of like a little bit of eyeliner just to hide the band on the eyelashes. But uh, yeah, we're good. Okay. All right, guys, I am gonna go hit the floor probably gonna stretch a little bit and check in and then walk around see what's going on um yep we're in this dress i've had this dress for so long i've had this like since i started dancing and it's like always been one of my favorites it's a very well loved dress at this point um so I have actual pasties on today rather than like the liquid latex and I think I'm gonna wear them for my show too so that way I can get like um, a lot more footage that I can use for promo videos. I'm gonna use some of the footage from last night but I'm kind of limited on like how much of it I can use because the parts where I'm moving really quickly like I'm doing a lot of like pull tricks or something um, I'm not really gonna be able to censor that. <laughs> Uh, so, by having the pasties on, I can show basically the entire show, and 
Yeah. The parts where I'm like really slow or just like posing or something, I can censor it, but you know. Yep. So I'm gonna head out on the floor. Is that how I'm gonna like sign out with like every single thing now? Anyway. Bye. All right, guys. Taking a quick break. Having a little snack. So far, so good. Um, went up and did a stage set. So it's like, um, I'm still doing like house sets here. Like it's like, I'm kind of still a house girl. I'm a house girl who's doing a feature show tonight. So I did my first stage set, went pretty well, got some tips, um, got a couple dances afterwards. Having a snack. It is um, 9.19. So just a few more hours to go before my show. I'm gonna just slowly start prepping things over. So I have like about another hour to go. go. I'm just gonna like just slowly come back and start working on prep a little bit here and there. There's not really a ton that needs to be prepped for the show. All right so right now it is 11:36. so we have like about a half hour to go. Right now I'm in the process of just kind of like organizing things. Um, so that's the tarp I'm gonna use towel to dry off, um, the chair, I just got like, this is just like some soapy water, we're not going to do a full paint show this time. Okay, you guys, you get what I'm getting at here. So these are going to be, if you've never seen features do this, because I feel like a lot of a lot of y'all that are watching maybe have never seen a feature show before, but like literally everyone does this. Very common. So these are going on the stage at the front like that. And then towards the end, I'm gonna lift those up and whoosh, whoosh, the confetti's gonna go everywhere if you've never seen it before. pinched my fucking finger on the tripod. All right guys, I will check in with you later. I'm about to go up. I'm just setting up the stage and it's go time. <laughs>
tips are still a little bit wet, but people waiting on me, so I'm trying to get back out there. I need to stop relying on wet shows so much. They're a mess to clean up. All right, heading out. All right, guys, so the night is over and I have to clean up this absolute disaster. It's my favorite part about ending a booking. Hmm. All right, time to clean up and put normal clothes on. I'm gonna put normal clothes on first, then we're gonna clean up. Time for normal clothes. I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Um, I need to pack everything up, check out, um, and I think me and Jeremy are going to Waffle House tonight. I think we talked about that last night, so yeah. All right. All right, guys. Hey, guys. What's up? It is me from the future. Uh, I'm very bad at remembering the film outros for videos, but anyway. So, it has been like about six weeks from the end of this video. Uh, I am back home, as you can tell. And yeah, so I moved on, a little bit of a, little bit of a life update. I moved on from Michael's. I did my two weeks in Victoria, one week in Wichita Falls. I apologize for not vlogging, guys. Um, originally, I was planning on vlogging while I was there. But I just didn't really get to it. Um, I'm sorry guys, I don't really have a valid excuse other than like I just wasn't in a vlogging mood. I'm planning on like hopefully making some more YouTube videos and we'll do some stuff around here at home because I'm not going to be traveling for a while. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and please subscribe if you haven't already for all the um, behind the scenes look into the life of a traveling showgirl. And yeah, until next time. All right, bye.